Hey, tennis friends, it's quarterfinal day at the Western and Southern Financial Group Masters. But before I get to the tournament, I thought I'd stop by at a local gas station to show you how incredible the prices are. Look at that. That's $2.52 a gallon. That's about 50 cents less than it is in Southern California, where I'm from. Yet another reason to come out here to Ohio to visit this wonderful tournament. I'm here at the ticket office inside the Linder Family Tennis Center to find out if there's tickets available for the weekend. So we'll just go up here to the window and ask John here. John, do we have tickets available for the weekend? We sure do. We got some left for Saturday and for Sunday's finals. So there you go. There's tickets available for the Saturday semifinals and the Sunday finals. So be sure to get your tickets now by coming down here or better yet, go to CincyTennis.com. As you can see in the latter part of the week, there's a lot more people here than there is in the first part of the week. And you never know who you're going to run into. It might even be some of those supporters of the Bryan Brothers. Well, I'm here right now with a couple members of the Bryan Bunch. Right? Bryan Bunch. Yes. Uh, now, what I wanted to find out is why were you guys not out in Los Angeles when they broke the record? Well, you know, we don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> Plane but, tickets are expensive. So you couldn't make it out for that? Couldn't one. make it couldn't out. Make it out. Yeah. Well, that's too bad because if you watch my video, there was actually one person, one person in the whole crowd representing you guys. Yay! <laughs> At least right. we had one. Yeah, well, good luck tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm here right now with Phil, who is volunteering for the USTA Midwest with the Quick Start Tennis Program. What are you doing out here, Phil? We're out here preparing for tonight. We're going to do a quick start demonstration out on center court. We've got about, I think, 12 youth that are going to go out and do a quick demonstration tonight uh, and show what Quick Start's all about. And what is Quick Start all about? Quick Start's a, a youth tennis program that allows the youth to be able to, to learn tennis at their level. Um, it's, uh, they have smaller rackets, a little bit softer, larger ball. I volunteer with a program in Wilmington, Ohio, and we, uh, we've had a, a tremendous amount of success. This is our fourth summer uh, doing it, and we had 170 kids uh, in the 10 and under, 4 to 10 year old age group. The success of the program is, has grown tr tremendously over the last three or four years. All right, well, it sounds like you're doing a great service for tennis and a great service for your community. Yeah, thank you. I tell you, this is one of the great things about being here at the event, is that you actually get to come to the outdoor studio as they're interviewing the player after they won. Right now, Marty Fish, who just beat Andy Murray, is being talked to right now, interviewed for television. Up there, you can see our friend Skippy is the cameraman. It's just great to be here, to stand right by here and just feel the emotion of what happened. All right, I'm here with Skippy, who's the cameraman that follows the tour. How are you doing today, Skippy? Fantastic. Very hot. Hot in Cincinnati. The heat has been killing us all out there today. It's just drinking plenty of water, plenty of water. It's just so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. Well, I got to ask you, you know, uh, you're out there running the camera. You're the guy that when they sign the lens, you're the camera guy on that. Yes. You follow the guys around, you know, when you're close up. You ever have any run-ins with any of the players? Yes, and not as far as run-ins, but obviously when we're doing the sit-down, when when the players come to the chair, uh, the director wants us to get close, and we, we do the profile, and we, we're sitting with them, we're, we're standing with the, with the players. We try to give them a bit of space, but there's been a few top players that have you know t told us you know, to step back a little bit politely, but you know we all know them very well. They're all very good guys because we tend to get as close as we can because we want the public and the people and the fans out there to see all the action as close as we can. Well, I tell you, there's a lot of people that would love to have your job because you get so close to the pros. Do you ever appreciate that? Always. Always appreciate the job we have. We're very lucky to be alive. We're very lucky to have this job. And fortunate, fortunate enough to be good people like this man here. <laughs> right now, Stadium 4 is being used as a practice court by Rafael Nadal, who plays in the evening match later on against Marcos Baghdadis. At the hole. After his practice, Rafa has a difficult task of trying to make it through all the autograph seekers as he makes it back to the Players' Lounge. And when you come out this weekend, be sure to check out the air-conditioned Midwest Sports Tent. They have all the apparel from your favorite players, plus a lot more. They have towels and t-shirts from the event. It's just a great place to come and cool off between matches. Plus, you can buy some really cool stuff. So be sure to check out the Midwest Sports Air-Conditioned Tent. And I'll see you next time with more tennis outside the lines. <laughs>